in chapter 28 of Moby Dick, Captain Ahab is still nowhere to be seen, and Ishmael is more and more unnerved by the captain's absence, recalling the odd things Elijah said about him. But one day, he sees Ahab standing grimly on the quarterdeck. He has a long white scar that runs from his hairline down into his clothing, and a false leg made from the jawbone of a whale. Ahab stares forward out to sea for a long time, then disappears back into his cabin without uttering a word. In chapter 29 of Moby Dick, Captain Ahab walks about at night as if he can't sleep, and his peg leg makes quite a noise, and Stubb suggests muffling the sound so as not to disturb the crew. Ahab responds by insulting Stubb, calling him a dog. Stubb becomes angry and talks back to Ahab, but Ahab shoots Stubb a look so menacing that Stubb retreats. Stubb muses that Ahab seems to have something on his mind and that he's full of riddles. He also reveals that Ahab often goes alone into the hold of the ship, which he finds really odd. In chapter 30 of Moby Dick, after Stubb leaves and goes back to his hammock, Ahab sends a sailor to fetch his ivory stool and pipe. As he sits and smokes, Ishmael thinks he looks like a king on his throne. But Ahab seems unsatisfied with smoking, noting that it should soothe him, but it isn't working. So he tosses the lit pipe overboard and paces instead. Ishmael's anxiety about the enigmatic Captain Ahab is at a fever pitch when suddenly, and at long last, Ahab appears. But rather than satisfying curiosity and becoming more human than myth, Ahab seems to embody the myth. He has holes put into the Pequod's deck, and he sticks his whalebone leg into them, standing resolutely and staring fearlessly out to sea for long intervals. He has a long scar with mysterious origins, a lightning strike in an elemental strife at sea. He's grim and brooding. His incessant pacing on the deck of the ship keeps the crew up at night because of the rhythmic thumping of his peg leg. It's no wonder Stubb asks, is he mad? The pipe that Ahab gives up smoking here, he throws it overboard, is significant because it shows him beginning to shed, one by one, the small pleasures and ordinary tasks associated with being human. He doesn't want to be comforted, even by the small calming pleasure of his pipe. He's giving up any human pleasure that might interfere with his single-minded commitment to his mission. The throwing overboard of the pipe is a symbolic act that marks his wholehearted devotion to this task, which readers, and the crew, don't know about yet. This section also teases the reader with a brief mention of Ahab's habits of going alone into the hold of the ship. Just what might be in it? Thank you.